Hi, it's Travison here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed Tusker and finished off the ultimate Bloodspore quest, which rewarded us with this new weapon. Looks pretty cool. It is called the Staff of Beasts. Pretty big upgrade compared to our last weapon. And today we are going to continue questing into Grand. Why not, right? So we're going to go down here. To this place where all these Farseers are. What do you mean? Farseer Kirkush. Garadar is in shambles, stranger. Since the Great Mother took ill, Garrosh has gone into a deep depression. He is most certainly not his father's boy. Oh, I didn't know that Garrosh lost his mother. With our leadership in ruin, we are left open to attacks from all sides. The foul Merkblood tribe could not have picked a better time to attack us. In recent days, we have been subject to no less than five assaults from the Broken. They have even taken over our only other territorial holding in the area, Sunspring Post. We must strike and show them that we are not powerless. Strike down the vile idolaters and bring me their twisted idols of worship so that they may ride the lightning. For the Horde, McGraw. Dark times loom ahead, stranger. The missing war party. After the last Merkblood raid, a group of younglings decided to act. We tried to stop them, but the rage had taken hold. It has now been one week since we last saw our beloved younglings. Please, Torn, you must find them. They have barely reached adolescence. How can they expect to defeat such savages? They took the road leading west out of town. Follow the road and look around to find signs of our younglings. And flag carrier, avoid Hala. If you value your life, it is a war zone. Strength. I remember going to Hala. We got chased out of there. Yeah, it's kind of sad what happened to uh, Garrosh's mom. No wonder he's like in such a defeated state. And no wonder he did not want to um, help or even care about the the truce we made with the with uh, the Tresser the Blade and uh, stopping the Wormall Ogres from taking over all of the Grand. It's kind of in just like a, a mood of like I don't really care about anything. Because usually Garrosh is all like gung ho and he's all like, you know down for a battle. So I guess in TBC he's more uh, laid back. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that, dude? Oh, oh, dude. Get off of me. The Merc Blood Invaders. Where are these guys? Like, the... <laughs> Oh, they're, uh, are they lost ones? They look like lost ones. They don't look like Drain Eye, that's for sure. They're riding on giant elks. I believe they're called elks. Elix? Yeah. It's funny how they call elephants Elix in, uh, TBC. Okay, I think we're safe now. Oh, you should probably buff up, too. We also have potions that we can use. That we probably should use. I guess we'll use this. Increases maximum health by 250. We'll use an IG pot. There we go. We're buffed up. Ready to go. Got level 69 undead mage rolling around here. I'm happy we're done all of the Hemet Nesting Wary quests. That was a good quest chain to do. Shout out to the two paladins who helped me out. We also finished off the Ring of Blood, which are, I considered the two main quests in the zone. But we're going to uh, try to check out as many as we can while we're here. All right, so Saurfang is here. That's pretty cool. So we chat with them. So Saurfang is young. This is young Saurfang. They died, all of them. As the Merkbloods cut through us, something took hold of me that I cannot understand. Tell me, have you ever felt a rage so great 
that the whole of your being burns? A heat that wilts the living. A heat that incinerates the blood in your veins. That is what I felt. Sarfang's eyes glow red for a brief moment. I was the last one al left alive. Thirty of them surrounded me. Mark bloods. So remember, nothing beyond that vision. I blackened out and awoke some time later. Probably went into like a crazy berserk and just slayed them all, knowing Sarfang. The Missing War Party. I have been told stories of my people. They say that once we were warriors. Once we were warriors. I do not know you, stranger, but I ask for your help. I feel shame for this, but I am only one orc. Emotions have surfaced that I have never felt. I seek vengeance, blood for blood. Do your people ever feel this? I wish to pick up my axe and split my enemies in two, to swing the weapon until my arms fall lifelessly at my sides exhausted. Sunspring's post is directly south of this procession. It is there that you will find one, our enemy. Kill them, kill them all. Alright, so I guess we're going to, uh... That's enough quests for now, I think. Who are these two guys here? Elder... These are two elders. So I guess two elders survived and then Sour Pang just dealt with everybody. He was the only youngling to survive. I guess. So we have two quests here. We have Once We Were Warriors, where we slay Merc Buds. And then Vile Adultery, where we take their Merc Blood idols that they hold on to. So, let's start taking down some Merc Bloods. Whoa! This guy got wrecked, dude. <laughs> We're beasts now with this, uh, with this weapon. Unless these things, these guys must be super weak, man. I have a feeling the raiders are not as weak as the scavengers, that's for sure. So this is, uh, this is what they call Sunspring Post. Looks like it is, a, a lost one. Place where the lost ones are. Should learn more about the lost ones. Don't know too much about them. I just know that they, uh... I think they've sided with Illidan. That's all I really know. And they have, uh, turned away from the light. And the Naru. Well, these raiders are much tougher. So you gotta slay 40 of these... scavengers. Looks like the drop rate on the idols are pretty damn good. Yeah, I was thinking about, uh, well, actually, I've been shown a lot of stuff about on the internet nowadays, looking at videos about WoW 2. Seems to be the, the new thing to talk about in WoW. And I just think that WoW 2 will probably... I don't know if that'll ever happen. Unless they can find a way to bring everybody's stuff, you know, to um, to the new game. Because it would be kind of a shame if people just lost all their transmog and everything that they've earned in WoW. Their mounts, you know, all that stuff. Achievements. All to a new game called WoW 2. So I think people would still want to stay and play play current WoW. Believe it or not, even though it's like you know, not supposedly as popular at this moment, but who knows? There are people who do like the game. So I think if they ever made a WoW 2, they would have to somehow integrate everything they had in the old game bring everybody's account over. Like, that would be so hard to do. And then transfer it into the new game. I don't even know if that's... That's probably worth... Not, it's going to take a lot of time and probably a lot of resources to do that. So I just don't see that happening. But the problem is the game is getting old, so... 
How long can they just use this engine for? The thing is, the graphics aren't really bad. Like, I think they're actually pretty damn good. Like, there's MMOs with much worse graphics, much worse graphics than this. Well, the purifiers not getting anything. We're just getting, we're getting idols from them, but we're not getting this quest done. Okay, so I guess we'll stay away from the purifiers. We'll focus more on the scavengers and uh, and the raiders. Yeah, I don't know if I would even like... Like, I would obviously check out WoW too. Like, I'm a... I'm a sucker for Blizzard games. But... I would not like to lose my stuff. You know, stuff is big. That we collected. Humans like to collect stuff. And they don't like to lose the stuff they collect, so... I think, um... I think they'd have to somehow... Bring both together. But it would look great. I would love it if they did that, but... I think everybody would. If they said, hey, you're, guess what? Your stuff's coming with, with the game. Everyone would be like, yeah, they'd be loving it. But I think it's worth waiting. Like, yeah, they're get, getting a little bit of pressure right now from New World and uh, Final Fantasy, but... I think if they wait... Look at all these scavengers. It's if we can fight all these. Solarians. <laughs> yeah, wreck them all. Probably should go bear. A purifier here. Yeah, I think it would be great if they gave it a try. I think it's worth the investment, but... Well, obviously for me, but I'm biased. Like, I hope they did that, or they would do that, but I do not expect them to do that at all. I don't know if it's worth the investment. I don't think they'll get too many new players from it. That's for sure. MMOs are, um, not only are they really competitive, they're, uh, They're just, I don't know if they're as popular, you know what I mean? I wonder if MMOs are getting more popular. I got, usually you would think FPS is like the game that people really enjoy. I know phone games are supposedly blowing up. Just due to how like simple they are and accessible they are to everyone. But maybe, I don't know. If they made a WoW 2, they would have to make it more accessible. I think that would make it worth the investment. Are bags full already? Yeah, most likely. Our bags fill up pretty damn quick. So we'll get rid of this crap. But yeah, they would have to make it more accessible. I think they would have to... find a way to make it work on console, but... I don't know, man. It's like... It's pretty hard to make WoW work on console. Like, look at all the keybinds you need. I don't think that could ever happen, man. Unless, like, consoles got, like, these insane controllers that allowed you to, like... You know, have multiple keybinds. All that stuff. Yeah, I wonder how they could do it. I think New World could be on console. For 100%. Like, the, there's only, like, how many abilities in that game? Like, eight? How many keybinds, either? I wonder if New World is, is, is on consoles. Probably isn't. A couple of brutes there. Tell me where the totem of card dash is hidden. And the beatings will stop. Well, we're 
not getting paid to save orcs, so I'm not gonna save them. <laughs> Should we save them, guys? I wonder what happens if we save them. Might be a nice thing to do. How tough these brutes are. They're pretty tough. I'm gonna wreck this guy. I wonder if we can even save him though, like even after we do this. Probably not. We probably need to do like a quest. Probably should have picked up more quests. We could have just done them later. Because I have a feeling this is obviously a quest. These are probably the young younglings that um, Sour Ben came with. Oh, there we go. Thank you, stranger. They would have surely killed me had it not been for you. I was kidnapped by these three Mark Bloods last night during a nighttime raid on Garadar. What I have since uncovered may very well shake the foundation of Outland. These savages seek to recover the totem of Kardesh. We cannot allow them to get the totem, totem, you must help me escape. And stranger, if I do not make it back to Garadar, you must tell Garrosh what happened here. Okay, so this suggests it to you, people. I mean, one day we'll do this quest. Maybe this guy would want to do it. It's level 68 mage. I wonder if he'll want to, like, do this quest. quest. I'll share these ones with them. It's already on it. Okay, good. There we go. Merc Blood Leaders. All right, let's check this out. We have lost many friends in recent weeks. For decades, we have dealt with ogres of Nagran, but now a new threat has arisen. The broken tribe of Mer Oh my gosh, dude. That guy wrecked these guys. Broken tribe of Merkblood attacked our fishing village to the southwest, Sunspring Post. The head of Otor, is that Otor? Okay, we gotta get the head. Sunspring Post and managed to kill or evict all of uh, the orcs that inhabited the town. While others feel that the best course of action is to kill indiscriminately, I know that we must destroy their leadership. I do not know who their leader is, but I suspect that you will know when you find him. What do you need? Alright, so we dealt with the leader. May your blades never dull. Be safe. Get this guy. Totem of the Earth. Halt their advances. Oh, this guy Rex, dude. He's a, he's a shaman. I don't know if he has, his, he has a health bar. This is crazy. I don't know if he would have survived this. I gotta start healing my buddy, Fenske here. I'm gonna start healing the captive. 
probably give him a buff. Should probably drink. I'll get out of here. I think Magar Captain can wreck this guy. I'll be drinking. I don't have enough space to take the water. Look at all this loot. I don't have enough space. Gotta make space. I'm good though, I have mana. I'm gonna have to go back and sell again, probably. So much junk on us. I should probably start using these uh, dynamites. See what happens here with that. Oh, look at all these brutes, man. Look at that AoE damage, crazy. Really good doing this with a mage. to deal these two raiders. I gotta start using stuff, man. I'm gonna use this. Got that, use that. Who did I use that on? Yeah, myself, good. Look how buffed we are. Tons of buffs. Let's have a quick drink. What? That was so weird I lagged out a little bit there. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of quests done today. It's pretty awesome. It's always nice to see people out in the world. The zone has a lot of like duo quests to do, that's for sure. Or group quests, I should say. I think you should be okay now. It is best that we split up now, in case they send more after us. Hopefully one of us will make it what back to mean? Garage. Farewell, stranger. Good journey. Alright, so let's go back in. Wreck all these. I don't really need any more Merc Blood Idols. I wonder if he needs purifiers. I probably missed out on this quest. Yeah, he can just pull everything, really. That's why mages are like one of the best classes to play. Look at this. <laughs> See that? Insane AoE. Wrecked everything. And then we need like a couple more here. There's a raider there. He needs mana though. Let's deal with the raider while he's getting mana. I did that. I still need like a couple more. I should just drink. Good thing I met this mage. Got two extra quests done and sped this one up by a lot. Just wonder where we're gonna have to turn all these in. I guess he has a purifier quest. Oh, guess I'll finish this guy off. Done with the. Done with those guys. So he has brute, brute quest maybe. I'm just gonna go 
go down here and deal with these. Round all these up and blow these up. It's gonna be fun to watch. Oh wow, this could be rough. Damn, I don't want him to die, dude. We can AOE. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna heal you up here, dude. And I pull more stuff. It's just like me to pull more stuff. Tons of XP doing this too. Be our screenshot, Fenske. Shout out to Fenske for helping us out. Finished off a lot of quests there. Now we'll go back and turn some of them in. Yeah, we should get a decent amount of XP for this. Maybe a bar, a little bit less. Haven't seen any alliance though. It's too bad. But yeah, Mage AoE is awesome. Really fun to play. Alright, once we're warriors, Sourfang turns to face you. Is it blood that I smell? I regret being unable to lend assistance. How proud you must be. My chest swells knowing what you have done. Are there others like you? Where you come from? Do more heroes exist? Will you do one last favor by Carrier? I do not wish to return to Garadar. I believe that my destiny lies elsewhere. That I will serve a greater purpose someday. Please, return to Farseer Korhuk and tell him that I will not be returning. That I cannot return. I must walk the earth. He will understand. Go forth to He's right about that higher purpose. Alright, so let's hearth back here. We'll turn in a couple more quests. We'll probably try to sell some stuff. Or didn't notice how full our bags were. Do this for us because we cannot do it for ourselves. You have given the Lightning Suns hope, Play Carrier. If our leader will not protect us, perhaps there are others that are capable like you. So we'll take this. So we'll take the plate chest. For the horde. So gotta sell that. Rooktar. He will walk the earth. Farseer Korhawk stares at the ground, lost in contemplation. He nods his head affirmatively. Farseer Korhawk wipes a tear away. The son is the father. May the spirits have mercy on those that stand in his way. The son is the father. Strength. Interesting. Speak, Farseer Murgadesh. The spirits are greatly agitated. We must find the cause of this disturbance. Bring me their leader's head, flag carrier. So this is the face of our enemy. I will have to put upon a pike, put it upon a pike, and placed outside of Garadar, near the gates. Should they think to attack us again, they will see the consequences for their actions. Looking down upon them. I just got a waste here. I guess we'll take the plate again because. Go forth to victory. I don't know. Keep giving us Boomkin gear. 
So yeah, we got a lot of quests done though. There's Garrosh, what, what he do? wants to say, the totem of Kardash. What does it matter? The Great Mother is dying. Life is not worth living. <laughs> yeah, he's depressed. He's super depressed. Now I understand. I thought he was just like being like an idiot, self-centered, but yeah, he's depressed, which is kind of sad. Maybe that inf like gets him even more enraged. What can I help you with? That's what makes him like the war chief. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Should we keep these hands? I guess so. We'll keep them for now. Soulbound gloves. Don't think these are better. Another pair of gloves that are probably not better. Yeah, they're not. Got a lot of gear that's pretty meh. Gotten a lot of rewards last couple of quests we've done. I think somebody messaged me. So check that out. Strength. Want to tank normal MT. Mana tombs. No. Sorry. I can't. There we go. I would take... I don't know. I've already done ma Mana Tomb, so... I kind of want to do Black Morass as the next dungeon we do. Or, um... It's another one. For a little too high for Mana Tombs, too. Or Setha Calls. These are the two ones we haven't done. But yeah, going to be calling the episode here, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.